Now for the past year, I've been following up with a story that I really haven't shared on this channel about this TikToker who just snapped in October of 2021, not only ruined his own career, but also he ended his wife's and his own friend's life after him finding them kissing on a couch. Meet Ali Abu Laban aka Jin Kid on all socials. Now say goodbye to Ali because he was found guilty and sentenced to 50 years in prison. So he will die in prison and you will not be seeing any of his TikToks anymore. Maybe if he finds a phone in prison, he's going to shoot a TikTok dance with Diddy, which I would pay to watch. Well, let me give you a little bit of backstory before we start talking about this whole thing. Ali and his wife and their child, you know, him and his wife kept on doing TikTok videos. They seemed like this happy Instagram influencer couples online. But obviously with every happy TikToker, oh, happily married marriage YouTubers living the best of their lives, they all have one dark secret. There, this dark secret was that it was just way too toxic and it was very, very extremely abusive. So his audience on TikTok, over 1 million people, raised up the question and became extremely curious to... No, where's the wife? Where's we haven't seen the wife lately? Is something wrong? And indeed, I don't know why it smashed the table. Indeed, something was wrong because they were separated, and this is where the shit went down. I'm gonna skip through three years of documents, interviews, and all this shit and just summarize this shit. Sonny V2, this shit for you. Mr. Ali, he put a voice recording, live recording, whatever it is, inside their child's iPad and at the time he was not living on the house the apartment that he was paying for where his wife his separated wife and child was living on and after that iPad hearing he realized that hurt his friend's voice Ray inside the iPad and that is the time where he lost his shit he decided to one day just randomly come to the house kick down the door and see Ray and his separated wife sitting together on the couch cuddling and that is where he saw only red and red only that is when he snapped and popped three into just everyone's head. And according to the court interview, which he pleaded not guilty when he first went forward and he was found guilty later on, he said that he he was just shocked. He didn't know what to do. So he kept on shooting. G -g Great. Ke keep shooting. Yes, of course. After he pew pewed them, he was in denial that this whole thing happened. So he kept on shooting them even more. And after that, he you know realize that okay this shit just got real this is a really serious crime i'm gonna go to jail for the rest of my life so what am i gonna do what is the best thing that i can do in this situation wrap up the bodies throw them over the bridge or call the police and say oh i just came here and i found them like this i don't know why i did that he decided to go and tell, call the 911. Oh my god, I just came inside and I found three bullets in their forehead. Uh, I don't know what happened, but please help me. Please help my wife. Okay, stand by. Okay, hold on, sir. <laughs> Ali on the phone claiming he found the two dead. Tell me what you saw when you went in there. I saw the bullets on the couch. Ali then hangs up the 911 call. Now, one thing I forgot to mention what kind of videos Ali used to post on his TikTok, on his socials, that he got over a million views, over a million followers on TikTok. He used to play Scarface slash John Wick. But this was John Wick from Made in China because instead of saving his wife, he unalived his wife. And he thought that just like that, he can get away with it. If he says, oh my God, I just walked in and I found this. Then who the fuck did this? The Jinni did this? Just like that. One thing he forgot that his next door neighbor heard the shots and just, you know, peeked because that's how neighbors are very nosy. And so Ali walking out and just screaming um, the wife's name. I believe he went towards like the elevator. Um, then he came back. Um, he screamed, Anna a few times he grabbed something from his mat doormat like mail and then he left so obviously the cops came forward found the wife and some other guy who's not the husband together and the husband was the one calling oh my god who shot them and left and how did you find them like that obviously the mr ali is the prime prime extra prime suspect in this situation so he was caught into custody he, they went through a lot of court dates I haven't been following up with all of it, but just lately I have. 
This is one of the videos, one of the clips in the in the court where a phone call between him and his wife back in 2020 or 2021 and showing how toxic the whole relationship was. I am the best man you ever met. And you're the dumbest I ever devoted my life to. You are the dumbest I wish we never had a kid together because of how stupid you are. The value in me, unlike your dumb And uh, I can't wait to divorce you so I can start my new life. At one point, Abulaban laughed as they were played. Later on, he appeared uncomfortable, telling his attorney to turn it off. Ricardo Escalante, a former homicide detective with San Diego Police, was in charge of analyzing cell phone data as it relates to this case. He testified the examples displayed in court were just a small portion of the disparaging data he found. There were dozens and dozens of audio messages, texting, with this general vibe of where are you who are you with what are you doing this is what i like to call an insecure donkey behavior i am this i am you should be lucky that you are with me kiss my feet kiss my feet right now now obviously not every marriage is perfect things come up in the future at the, at the time you're happy maybe in the future you won't be maybe you'll die as a happy you know couple as well you don't know what's gonna happen in a marriage it's a left right situation i'm sure you've had long-term relationships as well two years one year three years five six seven even years you've been with someone and you know once you went away it was really hard for you and it is hard yes sure be toxic say do you know who i am you are a donkey you should be blessed that you're with me sometimes you say cringe shit like that it's totally understandable but one thing you should never cross the line on is harming them my friend you just said you're better than them why are you harming them then this is just pure insecurity in my eye and usually in breakups it's usually harder for the guys to move on because you know it's it, it took them like i don't know god those seven years they've been waiting for this perfect woman and now they're losing them and they will do everything in their power not to lose them they will fight for them and one thing that will really hurt them and make them angry is the thought of seeing her with another man on a couch kissing or you know doing shakalaka boom boom or whatever it's it's really hard but you know one thing i like to tell myself you know with that i've been through a three-year relationship just recently last it wasn't recently like a year and a half ago it ended it was pretty hard to move on from but i did not say any toxic shit i am better than none of that boom take care it's not working out different directions take care bye just like that and it was pretty hard for me to you know picture her with another person it was very hard and painful but you know what you should tell yourself in these situations this is what i do every time new shakalaka boom boom opportunities so instead of thinking of him or him being with someone else think of yourself with all the opportunities that you're going to have if you're not too good looking you there's your cousin is always available but go be a hoe actually that's terrible advice do not be a hoe actually be if you want to get over someone you under i don't know what, what, whatever whatever the fuck you want to do but now back to ali's situation you should never okay they cheated okay they you got cheated on well guess what i've been cheated on three times as well you probably one of you watching you've been cheated on as well this shit happens they're not innocent in a talking stage but when it comes to do they deserve to get unalived fuck no shit happens this is life you should never end their life because your feelings got hurt this is just unacceptable and after a long trial of three years after the guy and the woman's which you know it was his wife everyone was going through a pain a hard time it was very painful for them for losing their daughter and son after three years the jury decided to so ali was found guilty of two counts of first degree murder and was sentenced this month during the sentencing the wife's sister had some you know words to say pretty painful stuff she also said that i had no idea that my sister would be so miserable living with you because what was ali's defense in all of this he claimed that he was at the worst stage of his life he put the excuse on the drugs that he was using the white sugar on his nose he said that he lost his cool he shouldn't have lost his cool and he apologized a little bit left and right but it still doesn't make it okay on that day of october 21st 2021 I was in the worst physical and mental state of my life. I was sick, suffering from an untreated severe mental illness that was combined with a crippling drug addiction, which put me in a state of a drug-induced psychosis. Was it their problem that you had these addictions and these kind of behaviors and you were in a bad mental state? No, it's all, there's no excuse you can use in this situation. But do not worry, Diddy is going to fix your drug addiction problems, your mental stuff in prison with baby oil. In the Superior Court of the State of California and for the County of San Diego, 
the people of the state of California, plaintiff, versus Ali Nasser Abulabad, defendant. We, the jury in the above entitled cause, find the defendant, Ali Nasser Abulabad, guilty of the crime of murder in the first degree. <laughs> So yeah, he was found guilty of both charges on the first degree and he's serving 50 years now. He's 30 something. So he's probably gonna die in prison. So what did we learn from this video? Do not lose your shit. Do not lose your cool. It is never worth it when it comes to road rages. Uh, I don't know, finding your cat or dog cheating on you with someone else petting them. All of this shit. Do not lose your cool. Do not lose your shit. It is never, ever worth it. Even if you you know are separated from your girlfriend or wife or whatever you see them with someone else remember you are better than them you deserve better so just ignore it and walk away and never speak to them again and go to your new shack like a bomb opportunities see how i'm pr preventing murders in the future and before he went to prison this is the message that he shared with everyone he went on and he said i would like to share you know a few words with you before i leave for prison in the morning he said regardless of how you feel about me my content or this heartbreaking tragedy the bottom line is i have done something terrible due to my irresponsible behavior he just went on and he apologized for whatever happened he kept on saying sorry he said he tried to fight for himself but uh, unfortunately that's not how the law and the civilization in the world works you can't just go you know pew pewing people because you're hurt your feelings were hurt he said, at this time, from the bottom of my heart, I would like to leave you all with this message. I'm very, very sorry of my actions, for my actions, and I'm ashamed of how pathetic and selfish I had been. I really don't, I don't believe this. I don't, I, honestly, I, I don't even see this whole thing as, like, honest. I've seen enough court videos on YouTube to see that this is just something he has to say. It's just, it's just in the books. He has to do this before he leaves. He said, thanks again and goodbye for now. He's like, oh, thank you for all the memories we had together on TikTok together and I will never forget it. Thanks again and goodbye for now. Ali, not goodbye for now. Goodbye forever. <laughs> and I found... And I found... <laughs> and I, I was looking through the comment section through my phone and I found this message. Hope Diddy finds you in the chat. <laughs> It's not funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. Don't laugh. It's not funny. Anyways, just wanted to share this, uh, my thoughts and share this whole story with you. This is the last story. That's it. He's gone. Three years trial. No more updates about the situation. He definitely got what is deserved in my eyes. They both didn't get what they deserved because it's just, it's part of being a human. They don't deserve to get unalived for it. But yeah, I just thought I'll share my thoughts on this. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Like and subscribe if you're new here. Take care of yourself. I will see you at the next one.